Okay, Al Zeto mentioned that there is a growth hormone that can't be detected with some of the tests. Now, will the WWF test detect this growth hormone? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know anything about growth hormone. Uh, uh -huh. Bottom line, I've heard several athletes say that growth hormone, several bodybuilders in the gym, you hear them talk that growth hormone can't be detected or they take it before contests, but the bottom line, that's not my, that's my, not my subject. I don't know anything about it. When you first sat down with Brock, did you ask him about steroids? Um, no, I, listen, in, in this day and age, with everything that's going on in sports, if you're taking steroids, you're a moron. There's, there are millions of kids that have believed in me and what I stand for, and basically it, it put a dark cloud over everything that I believe in. Okay, first off, what I am is what I am. I'm a real American, I love my family, I love my God, I love all my people that believe in me. And basically, this isn't the Lyle Alzado story you're gonna hear out here. Right. Because like the picture, do you have the picture? The picture that I showed you when I was 10 years old. Oh, absolutely, week? absolutely. You, can absolutely. You Sammy, that show picture? that picture, because it's an amazing picture. Okay, Look that's me when I was 10 years old on my little league team. Damn, I man. Weighed, I weighed 196 pounds. Look how fat my head was. The hat barely fit on my head. You but were my size then. I was, I was 196 pounds when I was 10 years old. When I graduated from high school, I was 300 pounds. And right now, I'm about 295. Uh -huh. But I've, tra I've trained 20 years, two hours a day to look like I do. Uh -huh. But the things that I am not is I'm not a steroid abuser. Mm -hmm. and I do not use steroids. Welcome to the video. This is a purely uh, video for journalistic purposes. Just going to show you the dangers of anabolic steroids. If you can hear, I'm not sure if you can hear the background, there's an ambulance. There's an ambulance in the background um, driving down the road. They're probably going to a steroid overdose. Every day, uh, thousands of Australians are admitted to hospital from anabolic steroid overdoses. And we're going to show you here some of the paraphernalia that uh, steroid people use. So steroids are very, very dangerous. Don't use them. Um, you know, these were uh, confiscated uh, from Lance Armstrong, uh, his cycling team back in the 90s. Uh, so we're using these as just as a prop. Um, so Sustanon is a very popular steroid back then. Um, since Lance Armstrong retired from cycling, uh, there was no drugs in sport. Lance was the only one using it, and maybe John Jones. But since then, everything's cleaned up. So Sustanon is a, a mixture of testosterone. It's very toxic. It uh, can cause heart attack, heart disease, all sorts of things. Your dong shrinks. It's just, you know, everyday people overdose on this stuff. So it's very dangerous. It comes in like a little ampule like this. Uh, people crack it open and they put it in a sling pin. They backload it and they go from there. So this one as well is very dangerous. Uh, this is testosterone and amputate. I'll open this up and show you exactly the dangers in here. Very, very dangerous compound. Uh, causes overdoses all the time. Big fat horse pick. So people in the cats get away from that baby because it's a bit dangerous. So make sure you I'm wearing a mask while I'm using this because the vapors and that can give you lung cancer. Uh, it's another one here called Reandron. Testosterone decano. Very, very toxic, very, very dangerous. Many people die from this. Um, very, very dangerous. Very dangerous, you know. I shouldn't, I should be wearing gloves and touching this stuff. It's very toxic. It's very addictive. Um, you know, you see, you go to Skid Row and you see people, you know, high as a kite on this stuff. Very, very dangerous. Oh, very, very, very dangerous. You know, all testosterone is dangerous. They've got gels as well. You know, that can give you skin cancer, just eat away your organs. Um, overdose, you know, causes extreme musculature and. Look like Ronnie Coleman in a couple of weeks as your muscles blow up and girls really hate it. So this is Androlic as well, and it's a prescription anabolic from Thailand. On a, so yeah, very, very dangerous. Um, it's going to cause a uh, you know, whole host of issues. So I just want to let people know, steroids are very dangerous. Don't use them. Uh, train daddy. Stay like the rock and uh, stay like athlete, ath athlete X, etc. You know, it's um, it's very very dangerous. You you basically dancing with the devil, and these things do cause overdoses. You know, the LD fifty of testosterone is maybe you know two hundred milligrams, and you go to hospital. So make sure that uh, you stay away from this stuff, kids. It's uh, yeah, very very dangerous. We'll pack it away. We're gonna dig this six foot under the ground. Make sure no one ever uses it. These are all very very dangerous steroids, kids. Dangerous, bad for your health. Listen to Arnold Schwarzenegger, stay no to drugs. So another thing, steroids, they'll shrink your dong. 
I'm about seven inches, um, and if I use steroids, this is what I look like afterwards. This is the testicles down here. They get fossilized and shrink up, so that these were actual uh, human testes from a steroid user. So they look like pebbles. They sound like pebbles, but they're actually uh, testes pro steroid usage. One one injection of steroids reduces your dong by an inch. Uh, the more your testosterone you have, the smaller your dong gets, and uh, you do it balls as well, just shrink up into nothing, like that fossilized. Do you want fossilized balls, pebbles? Then stay netty. <laughs> Lesnar's physique also raised big questions about steroids. You're just so big, and you come out of the world That's of pro it. wrestling. <laughs> We're done. Thanks, guys. I know what he's asking. Moments after Lesnar walked out of the interview, he addressed the speculation about steroid use. I have never failed a drug test. You know, I think one of, um, you know, WWE is under the microscope right now. Of course, as is uh, all of sport. Um, a lot of talk about steroid use, yeah. drug use. Have you ever used steroids? Absolutely not. And this is a... Even this back is, in bodybuilding days, this is a, football a, days. This is a crazy question, and it's something that um, it's tough to answer just because of the way society is now. He doesn't like being asked if he has used steroids. This is a crazy question, and it's something that um, it's tough to answer just because of the way society is now. Mm -hmm. The way people conceive things because performance enhancing drugs have got the spotlight, and it's a hot thing to talk about. I can't tell you that I haven't, but you'll never be able to prove that I have Johnson also admits in the interview that he's taken steroids before. I tried them when I was 18, me and my football buddies. Nothing happened, Johnson said. I'm sure you know that your name came up recently when a doctor got himself into trouble. Uh, have you heard about this? Oh yeah, I've heard about it, definitely. You want to discuss it? Yeah, I'd love to talk about it. Um, basically, I saw Lyle out here and I saw you throw my name into the ringer. Yeah, so because I read the paper yeah, and my I, job I is to that. inform people as exactly. to what's going on in society, not accusing you of anything. Okay. I, I mentioned that you had been in the news. Well, that's the problem. See, people read the paper to be informed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you read the paper and you get misinformed. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to do, with all due respect... Mm -hmm. And in defense of USA Today and some of the other papers, yeah. I'm sure when the doctor was con convicted, um, that's how they got your name. It's, I, I wouldn't want to make it seem like they're making up the papers at early times. Well, no, name. basically I was, a, one of the, I was one of the patients of this doctor, and then later on down the line he got into all these other things, but mm -hmm. a federal judge basically said, Hulk Hogan, you don't have to testify. This trial has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. So basically what I'd like to do is, with all due respect, inform you mm -hmm. and everybody else that's misinformed <laughs> by the newspapers. <laughs> but anyway, basically... Um, I'm upset, outraged, and mad, and all that other kind of stuff because basically the paper speculated when my name got thrown in the ringer, it turned into the Hulk Hogan trial, and they didn't direct the focus on what this thing was all about. Mm -hmm. um, somebody that had got involved in a bunch of illegal mischief, I, I would call it. And basically, when the paper speculated, and then when there are a lot of lies told in the courtroom, the, the papers printed these lies as fact, and it hurt me, it hurt my family. And on top of that, I was different than a lot of the people that name, names get thrown in the ringer. There's, there are millions of kids that have believed in me and what I stand for, and basically it, it put a dark cloud over everything that I believe in. Okay, first off, what I am is what I am. I'm a real American, I love my family, I love my God, I love all my people that believe in me. And basically, this isn't the Lyle Alzado story you're gonna hear out here. Right. Because like the picture, do you have the picture? The picture that I showed you when I was 10 years old. Oh, absolutely, week. absolutely. You, you Sammy, that picture show that picture because it's an amazing picture. Okay, Look that's that. me when I was 10 years old on my little league team. Damn, I weighed, I weighed 196 pounds. Look how fat my head was. The hat barely fit on my head. You but were my size then. I was I was 196 pounds when I was 10 years old. When I graduated from high school, I was 300 pounds, and right now I'm about 295. Uh -huh. But I've trained <laughs> I've trained 20 years, two hours a day to look like I do. Uh -huh. But the things that I am not is I'm not a steroid abuser. Mm -hmm. and I do not use steroids. Okay. And basically, that's where I stand, and I just wanted to clear it up because all the people that believe in me and believe what I stand for, I mean, you have to take negatives such as this big issue mm -hmm. of is Hulk guilty, is Hulk involved, and you have to turn negatives into positives, and that's what I've said the whole time, and it's what I believe in with my heart, 
is basically, if you turn these negatives into positives, and my theme is if you train, say your prayers, eat your five minutes, and believe in yourself, just like I have done, brother, you can have everything you want out of life, and I'm not ashamed of anything I've done. Okay, Al Zedo mentioned that there is a growth hormone that can't be detected with some of the tests. Now, will the WWF test detect this growth hormone? I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything about growth hormone. Uh, yeah. Bottom line, I've heard several athletes say that growth hormone, several bodybuilders in the gym, you hear them talk that growth hormone can't be detected or they take it before contest, but the bottom line, that's not my, that's my, not my subject. I don't know anything about it. I know. It. You were 800 pounds when you were five. Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, would you like to say anything else to your Hulkamaniac? Well, I'll tell you, you know, um, steroids like cocaine and a lot of other hard drugs or class three drugs, if that's what you want to call them, the federal government calls them, is a dead end street. And basically, um, as far as kids trying to get into athletics, and this is the 90s, the era of the fitness, stay away from those type of drugs because basically they're all kind of side effects and adverse reactions. And from what I can tell you, I've got a wife and two kids, and I don't want to miss one second or do anything that's going to take one second away from my life to be with my wife and kids. Thanks for coming by. Hey, man, what you going to do? <laughs> what you going to do when Hulk Hogan and Arsenio Hall run wild on you? We'll be back. Another question, Hulk, why did you start using steroids? And assuming you have, why did you stop? Well, I mean, at the time when I got in the professional wrestling business, not trying to point fingers, but everybody in all the sports industries were using them, baseball and football and hockey and wrestling. And at the time when I got in the business, the guys were huge, larger than life, and the steroids were illegal at the time. Morning. <laughs> because this is Baywatch. And Maybe. You're not going to disappoint us, right? Like, there's a lot of beach outfits, bikinis, swim trunks, slow-mo running. The whole okay. Are we going to get a whole thing? You're going to get an overload of beach. Okay, It's, good. it's insane. Now, it's, I, yeah. we read this night, this cannot be true, but they said that you went into extra turbo workout mode so that you could get ready for this film. I mean, how much more is there to do? I know. Well, well, look, he's, he's got to start with The Rock, where you're yeah. like, i got to keep up with the Joneses. Yeah, yeah, well, going up against The Rock is like, I mean, it's impossible. Like, yeah. he's, he's, he's an animal. So <laughs> His name um, is The Rock. Yeah, his, his name is The Rock. Yeah. He is a rock. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it was... Um, it was really fun right here, like just doing pull-ups next to him was pretty badass. A ton of did, he pull with that did he pull a calf on a chin-up? Did that just happen? I think so. I know. You mean awesome? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll fix it in yeah. post. Okay, it was live. great. <laughs> yeah, it was super duper. Um, well, tell me a little bit. We, I know we want to talk about the movie, but we are obsessed with the training regimen because I heard there was yeah. like this kind of, this protein drink. That was. Do you remember it? It was like Just some it had egg in it, and it was kind of. Did you drink something funky, or uh, did we? we drank a ton of funny stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, I'm sure you did. But but it was like, I mean, we would do like the classic Arnold pump up yeah. on yes. the beach. Just shamelessly, just like with paparazzi and everybody around. Like, you know, you're, you're coming right out of your trailer and have to look like that. You know. Yeah. An Olympic athlete, right? Exactly. Yeah. Were you a fan of the old Baywatch? I know that was you know, like your your parents said that was a no no for you to watch at home when you were little. Uh, <laughs> I have like vague fleeting memories of <laughs> yeah. Pamela Anderson running through. Oh, that yeah. image stuck with you. Yeah, that Did one it? stuck with me. I, yeah, also, David Hasselhoff. Yeah. What's cool about this is it's it's an homage, of course, to the original Baywatch, but it didn't seem like you guys were setting out to copy it entirely. No, that was the whole point. Really, we had a platform that we knew was this amazing world, which is Baywatch. Yeah. And um, so uh, when I sat down with Dwayne for breakfast, uh, he had like a bowl of oats this big. <laughs> um, and like we talked about the movie, he talked about the way he wanted to revamp it and sort of just turn it on its ear a little bit, make yeah. fun of it, amp up the action, make yeah. it more relevant to today's audience. And um, and that sounded like an amazing idea. And we get a couple of cameos, though, right? We get Pamela Anderson. I guess I can. Uh, did I give that? that? Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's out public. We didn't. It we is. didn't. We Hold on, how could you? Oh my god! I think she's going to be here and David Hasselhoff. And the Hoff. Right? Yes. Yeah, we got yes. Both. Was that okay. like having royalty on set? It, when they stepped on the whole thing, everything changed. Stop. This is the most ripped I've ever seen anybody for a movie. What's this guy's name? He had a uh, striations in his uh, erectors. It was pretty nuts. Yeah. He did a lot of Milana Tan and a lot of uh, and a lot of trend for this movie, I think. 